Facebook. Hi guys, <laughs> sorry for that. I believe I was uh, I was upside down, but I think I'm right side up at the moment. I hope that I'm right side up. If anybody could tell me if I'm right side up, it would be a great help. And I hope I'm right. I hope that I'm right side up. Uh, anyway, hi Jen, hi Zinlin. Hooray, I'm right side up. Fantastic. Okay, it's Jerry coming to you today from Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in beautiful Guanacaste, Costa Rica. I have, I have a, a, a different message for you today. Uh, I just want to say that this is our uh, month off at Rhythmia, so we have a bunch of construction going on. So if you hear stuff, it's just from the construction that's going on. And we're doing a couple things. We're making our reception area bigger. We're increasing the size of our maloca and uh, ready to accommodate more people. A little bit about Rhythmia. Rhythmia is a life advancement center. It's not just a plant medicine center. It's a life advancement center that believes in a particular way of, of getting people more to their, to their natural self. And, and what that way is, is that we believe somewhere between when you were conceived and about five years old, you split from your soul and stayed within your aura. Is this belief unique to us? No, it's a 5,000 year old belief uh, at the minimum. Uh -huh. And that this act of remerging is what, is what brings joy and love and, and uh, happiness to our lives. Yeah. Now, it's just not my assumption. Okay, and I'll tell you a little bit about me. I'm just, I'm a guy that was super successful in business, not super, super, I wasn't a billionaire, but I made $100 million a couple of times, yeah? Uh, a guy who was successful in business that was terribly miserable in his life, I was miserable. And by miserable, I mean I tried to commit suicide on two different occasions, uh-huh. And so we discovered that, that in a plant medicine journey that this, this, this uh, act of splitting that, that you do have a safety as a child, that all disease, all disorder, all addictions, and all sadness are a result of that split wanting to come back together. Uh -huh. And you can't fill that split up with anything. And trust me, I tried. Hi, Natalie Wood. I tried. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Patty. Hi, Marina. Hi, Lorena. Hi, Jill. Hi, Liz. I tried. I tried with sex, with money, with alcohol with injectable drugs, with opiates, with uh, Valium and Xanax and every possible thing, with shopping, with purchasing Ferrari collections, airplanes, multiple houses. I tried everything. Uh, and sex and, and alcohol and drugs were my go-to. And nothing worked. And it got so bad that I tried to commit suicide in through a, uh, uh, an act of what I'll call an act of God which, which some of you will say, like, there's just this funny set of circumstances. I wound up doing plant medicine. It showed me something. It, it showed me who I become. It healed, it, it, it merged me back with my soul and it healed my heart. I gave up everything I had in this life. I bought this place in Costa Rica. I've been living in a hotel room for over four years and uh, the happiest days of my life. I'm actually building a house on the property right now, which is the size of, of usually one of my guest houses. Uh huh. To get out of the hotel room for a long time. Anyway, uh, that's who I am, and my life changed dramatically. I am not a thought leader. I'm the furthest fucking thing from a thought leader you've ever met in your life. I am just a cheerleader for a plan. But I built a center, and that center uh, mimics the thing that happened to me. Uh, we have farm to table organic food. We have uh, metaphysical classes, luminaries that come from all over the world to teach here. We have our own set of programming every week. And here's the interesting thing. 95.12% of the people who've gone through the doors, and it's going to be 6,000 uh, in October, uh -huh, have had the exact same thing happen to them. And how do I know that? They're giving, they're giving a survey at, upon leaving, uh -huh, and they check off if this happened to them. And right now, 
951.2 out of 1,000 say yes, they had this remerger. Uh -huh. That's one good thing, right? Now here's the thing. At the six-month electronic survey, which is, which is hosted by SurveyMonkey, Survey, Survey Monkey, which is a funny fucking name, 97.55% uh, of those people say that they are still merged and this miracle is still working in their lives. So usually there's people here, like now, and we're the only people here at the resort. <clears throat> so usually I talk about uh, questions that I have been asked during the past week and, and things like that. But again, I'm not a thought reader, I'm a cheerleader. It's a whole different thing. Okay, so here's the, the, the people say to me all the time, because I've done 271 uh, plant medicine journeys. And why do I know? Because I'm a guy who documents everything. I, 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 I wrote a little paragraph about each one of these journeys, yeah? And people say to me, well, what was the most prophetic journey, or what was the, the most exciting, or the biggest journey, or the one that left the greatest impact on you? And I have to tell you which one it is. And, and it's something that we can all use in our everyday lives. Uh -huh. it, it showed me, anybody who's done the medicine before, uh, a number of times we'll have had one or a couple of these kinds of journeys where it shows you the cycle of life. The cycle of life. And, uh, and I was being taught during this journey. And I was sick as fuck. I was, I was, I was, this is in between shitting and puking and shitting and puking. And, and the thing is every time I'd get up it would start where it left off and start where it left off. And it showed me this thing, and, and it made me super sad. I got super sad because it made it abundantly clear to me that everything that I have ever loved or been in love with in my life will systematically be ripped from me. Every single fucking thing, either one by one or all at once. And it showed me that, and she was showing me that, and she was smiling at me and I was thinking what the fuck uh huh what why would she be smiling uh huh why would she be smiling when she showed me this thing how how my kids are going to get old and that I'm going to die and I'm going to lose them and my the, the loves of my life and my, my mom's going to pass and my dad's passed and and dogs and, and and everything that I've ever loved or cherished is going to be ripped from me somehow in the name of love. And, and, and she kept smiling at me and smiling at me and smiling at me and then she told me. She said, that is the gift. The gift is the awareness of that. The gift is the awareness of that everything that I love is going to be taken from me. And if I live my life knowing that this is the absolute fact. That everything I love is going to be taken from me and there's nothing the fuck that I can do about it except cherish the moment that I'm in. Oh, wow. What the hell is that? That is the key to all keys. That you can go to, to Tony Robbins and this guy and that guy and fucking this monk and this priest and all this shit. And if you don't fucking get this one thing, you're not going to get it. The whole thing is, everything is systematically going to be taken away from you. Every single thing that you know and love. And that makes every second a miracle. And every scene your altar. So this second of me seeing you, of us being together, can never be recreated again. It's gone. And if you can walk through life with a reminder, if you're if you're a meditator, or if you're a prayer, or if you're a spiritual mind treatment person, or whatever you are, whatever you're, that the first thing you say every morning is thank you for giving me the awareness that all of this will be taken from me, and it's my obligation to make every second of this sacred, to be aware that every second of this is precious, and every second of this means something. Uh -huh. This is a real hard pill to swallow, and at the same time, once you've done it, it is the secret and the key to your own happiness. 
Uh huh. This is it. So fuck doing all this work. Fuck doing all this this shit. Just be aware of this. Just be aware of this one thing. Just be aware of this one thing. Everything that you love is going to be taken from you. And with that in mind, you better make today count. And count in what way? Does that mean you better win the lottery today or fucking sign your book deal today? No. Uh -uh. It means you better kiss your mom today or kiss your girlfriend or your husband or your wife. And it better means you better take some time and spend it with your family and look into their eyes and know that that second that you're with them can never be recreated. Uh -huh. it, 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 it's also in taking action for yourself that this moment with myself I'm not going to have again. So I better, when I'm walking past that rose, I better smell it. As crazy as that sounds, when I, when I walk by that tree, I better touch it. This is making today sacred. And, and the thing is, all of this work that we're doing, all of this work that we're doing is worthless until you get this thing. Because here's what happens. As you're taking that final breath, you're not going to be thinking, oh, I wish I did more work. That's not it. I'm, I'm myself. I wish I did more work. Nope. What, what you're going to be thinking? I wish I took into account the beauty of every second of my life. That's it. Not I wish I did more work. I wish I had more money in the bank. I wish I drove a fucking Ferrari. I wish I fucking had a Learjet. Not that. Uh-uh. The whole thing is I wish I were more alive. Uh-huh. Which means being immersed in these things. And then if you can look at life this way, if you get up every day and say, fuck, today I'm going to be aware that all this is going to be taken from me and I'm going to live today like it could be my last. I'm going to cherish every little gift that I see. Guess what? Then when the refrigerator breaks, you don't want to commit suicide because it's an event of the last thing. It's beautiful. Holy fuck, that air conditioner broke, but I'm alive. Uh huh. See, when you can look at it that way, you actually are taking back your life. This whole thing about surrendering, uh, if you surrender at the greatest point of surrender, you regain control. When you surrender at the greatest point of surrender, you gain control. In other words, when I know that this is over and there's nothing I can do about it and I'm going to lose the whole mess, and I say okay to it, I'm going to make the best of it, guess who's in charge? Me. Uh-huh. And so this thing is, this is what's so tricky about this metaphysical shit, that the thing that you're trying to do, you will never do. But by letting go of the whole thing, you get it all. It's the most beautiful, beautiful thing. So, so I really, really, really want you to not only, you see, you can think this, Oh, I realize that every moment is a gift. You can read the words from someone else. Oh, but when you have a few minutes and you take this into your soul and you know that this is the truth of your life and you know that this is over, that that you're as good as dead. Uh-huh. There's no way out. You're as good as dead. And to take that in and to let that turn you on. Boom. Boom. That, hey, this is what it is. I better love every minute of it. I better forgive myself. I better forgive Sally for, for uh, I don't know, messing my car up. I better forgive my ex-girlfriend for shit that she said or da 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 whatever the fuck it is. Get free and cherish each and every moment. And I'm going to tell you what, it is its own reward. Uh-huh. It is its own reward. And if you start thinking like that, guess what? You don't want to be working in a job that you're completely against. You want to be doing something creative, uh, doing something that you love with people you love, and you start to make changes in your life to bring the, the realness of this. Like, here's the thing. If you really realize that you're going to die, and then at that moment you're going to lose everything, and everything's going to be taken from you, then really, do you want to be sitting in a, a, a cubicle at a bank uh, chasing people for money? I mean, I don't know. Maybe some people do, but, but think about it. All of a sudden, the choices you make with the time you have left become super fucking important. Uh huh. And, and so where does that come from? That comes from here. Uh huh. So if you can in your little meditation, if you do a meditation every day, or if you do a prayer or a spiritual mind treat, if you can see
sit there and just for a minute, just for a minute, realize that you're going to go. Realize that it's either going to happen at once, in other words, you're either going to die of a heart attack or something of this nature, or you're going to die a slower death, so everything is going to be ripped from you either all at once or one at a time. Uh -huh. And know that. And then just be in gratitude for the opportunity to be alive and make a list of the things you're thankful for. In your head, this is, a lot of you guys do, do uh, daily rituals and practices that are hours long. I'm talking about a 10 minute fucking easy, here's what I do. Realize I'm either going to be, everything's going to be taken from me one at a time or all at once. And then be thankful for the things that I'm most thankful for in my life. My sons, Jerry and Patrick, uh, my girlfriend, my, 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 this place, Rhythmia. Uh, the fact that I had a mom, that I have a mom who's still alive. Fuck, like all of these things that are just simple and grateful and be grateful about that. And then walk through life and guess what? If you can do this one thing, this one thing, you never have to come here. You never have to do a workshop. You never have to do anything with your life other than be happy for where you are in the moment. That's all. Uh huh. So this gets rid of all this stuff with this one thing. If there is a silver bullet, if there is a silver bullet in self-realization or in, 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 in human development or human growth movement or whatever this thing is called, this is it. This is the one thing. This is the one thing. Sorry about that. Sarah, I'm sorry I keep mentioning banks. I'm sorry. I just imagine being stuck in a cubicle at a bank and I just think, I don't know what to do with that, you know? But please don't, I'm not picking on your saying anything. I, I, I love whatever everybody's doing as long as they're loving it, yes? So this is my message to you for today. And, and, and the thing is, my message to you again, I'm not a thought leader, I'm a cheerleader. I'm a cheerleader for a plant that showed me the awareness around that one thing. Uh huh. So listen, I'd love to see you all here at Rhythmia. I hope to God you all come here. Uh huh. The phone number here is 1 866 936 9446. That's 866 936 9446. And if you're calling from Europe or, <coughs> or wherever, uh, you just go to the website and there's numbers for, for different countries and, and emails. Uh -huh. But please, please, please come here. And come here and get this thing for yourself because I'm going to tell you this. If you're merged and then you have this realization, it takes on a, a whole new meaning. If you just have the realization, it has a different meaning. And I want you to have the whole thing. The whole damn thing. Uh huh. So please... Please come and see us at Rhythmy and Life Advancement Center and be one of the people. Uh -huh. be, be one of the people who gets merged and your life will forever be changed. Forever. And ever and ever and ever. And I mean that. And we're doing everything we can to make this place better and more comfortable for this experience because anybody who tells you to come here and like it's some kind of replacement for Club Med is fucking lying. This is the hardest week, week's work you will ever do and the most rewarding week's work you will ever do. I don't lie about it. I don't say that this is, is easy. This shit is hard. It's hard. Uh huh. It's hard. But please, please come and visit me. I'm always here. I'm, I'm always here. That's, that's not true. I'm here 80% of the time. Uh huh. Uh, and please come, come here and visit me and my and my compadre John Jacob, who does uh, the metaphysical classes on the weeks that I'm not here. Uh -huh. And Dr. Jeff McNary, my one of my saviors in my life. Come visit these people. Come visit this. We're here. We have open arms for you, and we want you to be happy. And I can tell you something. This thing sticks. This thing that happens here sticks in your life and makes a difference. That makes a difference. So, so for this week, on my, on my week off, I want to tell you that I'm enjoying Rhythmia alone. Uh -huh. I got the pool to myself. I got the whole thing to myself. Uh -huh. So it's a great place to stay. Yeah. 
But anyway, I love you guys, and I really mean that this medicine came in and saved my life. I owe this plant medicine everything in it, and it's made me meet 6,000 of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. I'm so happy to be here and be doing this, and I want to see you at Ridney. So until next week, God hold you, God keep you, God love you. And next week I won't start upside down, okay? I really appreciate it. Thank you guys, and I will see you next week. God bless you, God keep you.